And I'm going to lead with Tino. Tino, should we be renting or should we be buying property in Jamaica? All right. Thanks, Clyde, Junior. Big up everybody, big up the panelists, big up all who are streaming now and how, who have joined us. Um, well, to tell you the truth, you know, I, my personal opinion is it is best to, to buy. And, you know, to me, that is an investment that it is always, most cases, it is always going upwards in terms of value. So the value on real estate usually appreciate. So, you know, when somebody rents, then pretty much a part of, you know, somebody's pocket or, you know, money that could have otherwise been put into saving or, or, or even towards their own mortgage, you know. But again, it depends on the situation. So if an individual feels more comfortable to start off renting a little small pad until them get to a level where them they're comfortable and they're in a full time job, a secure job, then you know that's their that's their decision based on their situation. But for me personally, it's going to always be buy, buy, buy. Yeah man, buy real estate. All right, so Tina says it's best to buy, and Duane, on the other hand, now has been advocating the other side of the fence for many, many, for many, 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 many years. So, so is it better to buy a property or rent a property? Um, <clears throat> well, as, as I said, as I said, Nachi, um, you know, I've had my, 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 my issues with the whole buying your dream home. You know, issue. I think buying your dream home is really a marketing plot from the banking side because really and truly it's just a way to sell an idea. Um, however, I believe that in terms of whether you should buy or rent, it has more to do with your situation. Um, I believe that if you have a really good career, a really good job, something where you can easily afford to buy that won't affect you paying, spending 70% or 80% of your salary just to pay a mortgage, then you want to make that investment, I believe you should. Um, but if you do not have that kind of money, I wouldn't advise anybody to spend the whole salary or a good portion of their salary paying a mortgage for 20 to 30 years. Um, the, I mean, people have the argument like Tina would mention that real estate increases in value. But the reality is that if something happens during the process of you paying a mortgage and you can no longer pay the mortgage, you don't have a house anymore. So whether or not the, the, the value increases, it, it, it doesn't make a difference because, you know, your, your, the, the bank is going, to, um, is going to take back your asset that you've invested in for a number of years. Um, also... Uh, if something supposed to happen within a specific area, say for instance, um, like the, the area becomes degraded with crime and violence and so on and so forth. The Hold on, wait, I hear, I hear a little bit of feedback. I don't know if it's your phone. I hear it. All right, hold on. Uh, clear now? Yeah. All right, yeah. As it relates to, to buying, um, as it relates to even the value, right? So if in case in your area, it starts to become riddled with crime and violence or, you know, the persons within the area not upkeeping the properties around you. The value of the property actually don't move or it actually moves in small increments or it might also depreciate. Um, that Those are things that I consider when it comes on to purchasing a property. So my usual, my, my, my opinion on how properties work is that um, I don't believe unless you have the financial wherewithal to do so to buy a home, I believe it is best to rent and buy properties that you can easily afford that the mortgage on that property won't, won't break the bank, but you can buy that property and use it as an, as an investment where you can probably rent out the property, but you can just live where it is that you want to live because 
Really and truly, many persons' salaries can't afford them to live where they really want to live. So you're either going to use, you're going to live where your salary can afford it to live, or you can rent a property where you want to live and buy something what, that your salary can afford for you to, to, to purchase and then rent out that property and earn an income from it. So um, as I said before, it really depends on the person's um, economic or situation really, but my opinion is that it's it is best to to purchase to purchase properties for the sake of actually um making money from it rather than investing in a property that even though long term it might gain value and it might appreciate in value the reality is that it's still a liability because you have to pay mortgage you have to pay um taxes you have to pay all of these other things so it becomes a liability so that's my opinion when it comes on to buying rent all right, I will take that doing with a pinch of salt. This is coming from somebody who encourages me to buy a BMW. So I don't, you don't answer, don't answer, don't say anything. Just make it stay. Make that one that dead. Death so. So if you want to work in a robot taxi, you're going to run with that be my death. Um, for gonna make money from it. So we will talk yo, about that. Yo, no, 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 yo, no, no, yo, no. Yo. No, yo, they can't do that. They can't I will allow you. No, I will allow you. Know, I encourage you to buy a BMW because I know I, you can I, easily I can afford mute it. You. Right. I can mute you. I, can I, mute I know you. you can easily afford it, Clyde. That's why I encourage you to buy a BMW. You if you know what I'm saying, you, you can easily afford to purchase a house. You should. So you can easily afford to purchase a BMW. So you should. I don't know what man just start pre Clyde. I don't know what he's saying. All right, my brother, Lion. Um, my bro, what is your view? Should we be renting property? And we're talking about residential now. Um, maybe we can branch off into, into commercial to at some point, um, the same premise. Um, but should we be renting properties, residential properties are buying residential properties? So let me start off by saying good evening and a special good evening to the only young lady in the room. Good afternoon, madam. Um, good afternoon to the other panelists. Uh, no, when I got the, the, the topic of the evening about rent versus buy, um, I really thought, I really started to think about it and, and I think I'm going to do two sides very quickly. I think it's superficial. Um, it's, it's one of those questions that you ask, you know, the right answer to it's a rhetorical question. But at the same time, in our economy and, and, and given where we are, it's really superficial because rent versus buy some of it sounds to me like it's a choice in our in our Jamaican context. And when you look at the, the reality of it, it's really not a choice. Um, it's something that you're gonna have to work for and owning a home, especially in Jamaica, sometimes I think most people have to literally sell them soul. And start planning from really early, like like getting good advice from early. Um, one of the things that we weren't taught when we were growing up was finances, and properly managing your finances, which will now change the context of of what rent versus buy. So if I was to flip the the, the, the side of the coin now to to speak more of a a sensical type of way, rent versus buy is obvious, obviously if you had a choice, it'd be best to buy. I mean, hands down. And if you're going to work towards anything, I mean, buying definitely would be the option. But at some, sometimes based on your financial position, you kind of have to rent before you can buy. Um, so I guess that's my perspective on it. Um, I would definitely encourage any young person who is tuning in. If you're renting, no work towards buying. But rent versus buy is for me at this point in time. I'm going to take this stance where it is superficial. Like we have a choice, but if we do have a choice, choose choose to buy, and rent and plan to buy. That's my position on that. All right, I will take that from the lion. All right, so before I push this now to Kimari and Eric, what is your view? Should you should we be <laughs> renting or should we be buying property? All right, guys, thanks thanks again for having me. Kingston Twenty, I'm a, I'm a proud member of the bank. All right, by extension, um. Should be we buy our rent. It's I'm gonna agree somewhat with what Lion said. Um, and a bit of Tino. You know, uh, we we still we still thinking about what doing. Say, let's give him a minute. 
Um, so yeah, my focus is, is it's going to be, it's going to come down to each individual person. It's going to come down a lot to you. How are you, you know, how stable are you financially? Are you in a, a solid job that's giving you, you know, a steady amount of income? Do you have a hustle that's keeping a steady amount of income coming? Do you qualify for a mortgage? Is that mortgage a favorable mortgage in this instance? If it is, definitely buy a property. I'm, I'm all for buying. Um, the twist on it is if you can buy a property, and rent a part of it, that might even be greater. So where I am is buy. Kimari, should we be renting? Should we be buying? <laughs>